Welcome to lesson 4. This time we'll learn how to add some sounds to our game, and I'll show you a few other tricks as well. Let's start by just adding a new sound. Click on the megaphone next to Pac-Man, and give the sound a name. I'll name it Treat Sound. Click on Load Sound, and open it the same way you do a sprite. Click OK. Now let's open up the Treat object and go to the Treat Collision with the player. Go to tab Main 1 on the side and look for the subcategory Sounds. You should see a gray action with the megaphone again. This plays a sound. So let's drag it in and select Treat Sound from the first menu. Leave Loop as False for the second menu. Click OK, and let's run it. There we go. We have a sound. Now, if you remember, when the player collides with an enemy, then he will be teleported back to the start. Although it's kind of boring right now, so let's add a sound to make it a bit more exciting. Add another sound the same way. I'm going to name it hit sound. Load anything you want. OK. And then go to the player collision with the enemy. Go to the main tab one again. Uh, drag play sound back in. And select hit sound this time. Let's see what happens when the player runs into an enemy. Ouch. He got zapped. There's another way also to make the sound a bit different from the file you originally loaded. You might see some effects as check marks under the main file loading area. This is only for the advanced version of GameMaker, so if you can't see it, go to File, and check Advanced Mode on. Check the Reverb box, and play the game again. Let's see how it sounds this time. So, there's lots of cool sound effects that you can add to the sounds. You can even use the same sound with different effects, and it can sound pretty different depending on what you've loaded. Let's make another sound. We'll call it siren sound. And add a new object. This is going to be a siren that the player steps on. Just leave it as is and click OK. Open up player and add a collision event with the siren. Drag the play sound action in again. This time set loop to true. And add the siren object into the room. And run it. Now listen carefully. You might have noticed that's obnoxiously loud. So that can get pretty annoying for somebody playing the game. And actually the reason that it's getting so loud is because looping makes it repeat over and over. And if the player is always stepping on the siren, that means there's multiple copies of the sound being played over and over, just adding up. And we don't want that. So look for the purple octagon with the megaphone on it and drag it above play sound siren this is basically game makers way of checking something so under the drop down menu select siren sound and check the not button 
it checks if siren sound is not playing. And if it's not playing, then we'll play the sound. If it's already playing, then we won't do anything. So let's see if this works. See, it didn't increase in volume this time. Let's do one more thing before we end the tutorial. We want the siren to mean something bad for the player. So, go back to the collision with object siren, and go to the control tab, look for the variable subcategory, and drag the gray action that says var on it to the very top. You should see a thing that pops up that says set variable. And type in speed for the variable, all lowercase. And for the value set, double whatever you entered for the enemy's original speed. So in my case, I entered three, so I'm gonna put in six this time. And at the top, you might have seen this before. There's an applies to with three buttons, self, other, and object. This time we'll click on object and choose enemy from the new drop-down menu. What this is basically doing is it's setting the speed variable in enemy, every single enemy that's in the room, it'll set their speed to six. And speed is a special thing in Game Maker that tells how fast you're moving. If we go back into enemy and go into the move fixed area, see how it says speed three? So basically, when the player runs into siren, we're changing it to speed six. So let's see what this actually means. So see, the enemies got alerted and they moved faster. So variables are a pretty complicated thing. You should experiment around with them. Don't get too frustrated with them, but also don't be afraid to use them. And also be very careful because they're case sensitive. Say if I set, if I changed it from speed lowercase to speed with a capital S, It doesn't do anything. So you always have to type in a variable exactly as it's supposed to be. We'll have more on variables in later tutorials. That's it for this lesson. Next lesson we'll be learning how to add more graphics to our game.